As 2015 comes to a close, I'd like to reflect on the challenges and achievements of this past year at ACARA. In the middle of the year, we welcomed our new Chair, Emeritus Professor Stephen Schwartz, as well as some new board members. I'd like to thank the ACARA board members for the leadership that they have provided throughout 2015. In the curriculum space, we undertook work to improve the Australian curriculum, responding to themes endorsed by the Education Council. These themes included uncrowding and rebalancing the curriculum, parental engagement, and improving accessibility for students with a disability. In October this year, we were really pleased to have Australian Education Ministers endorse the Australian Curriculum for Foundation to Year 10. This is now available on our website for everyone to access. As usual, NAPLAN was held in May. This time, the writing test involved two writing prompts, one for Years 3 and 5, and another for Years 7 and 9. The 2015 NAPLAN results show stable achievement relative to last year and to 2008, which was the first year we conducted NAPLAN. Next year may be the last year some students take a paper-based NAPLAN test because, as many of you know, we're moving NAPLAN online from 2017. This transition to online assessment has been a major focus for ACARA this year. We've continued research into online assessment, conducted NAP science literacy testing online, and recently released the technical specifications for computer equipment required for NAPLAN online. We've also released preliminary results of a device effect study, which demonstrated that both laptops and tablets can be used for NAPLAN online, and provided additional evidence that automated essay scoring is a viable solution for marking NAPLAN writing tasks. And just last month, we released the NAP ICT Literacy Report, which showed a need for explicit teaching in this area. We think that the digital technologies curriculum will certainly help in this area. Evidence of ongoing support for my school was also provided through two reviews conducted during 2015. Based on the findings, ACARA has identified a number of enhancements to make to the site and make it more comprehensive and user-friendly while maintaining the important value of fair comparisons among schools. Next year looks to be just as challenging as we build on the investment that has been made to date in our national curriculum assessment and reporting programs. I look forward to continuing our progress towards improving education outcomes for all young Australians. And in the meantime, I wish you and your families a safe and happy holiday.